Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. It's book review time. S.C. Gwen's Rebel Yell. The Violence, Passion, and Redemption of Stonewall Jackson. There's a lot of words in this book. There's maps and there's photographs. So it's it's a plus just on that. It's a well-written book. It's a biography about Stonewall Jackson. Do you know who Stonewall Jackson is? I didn't really know who Stonewall Jackson was till I read this book. Stonewall Jackson's a really fascinating human being and character of American history, man. American history, but he was a general of the uh, Confederate Army. Exactly. Look, I realized reading this book, I don't know enough about the Civil War. And then, you know, it, it really dawned on me that we don't know who we are until we know who we've been. And I think if we look at the state of our country right now, we need to look back to the past. And I think, I think America's in a relapse state, right? If, if, and what I mean by that is, if the Civil War is what it is, which was total inhumanity, is that's all it could be described as inhumanity. Human beings killing one another and hoping to solve a problem versus rational thought. And, you know, there's a lot that was, there was a lot of reasons. There was a lot of reasons for the Civil War, both uh, good and bad, mostly bad. And, uh, a lot of, a lot, hundreds of thousands of people died. And uh, the entire South was basically burned to the ground. And just utter inhumanity. And so when I'm reading this book, A, I realize I, I don't know enough about the Civil War. I do not know enough about the history of this country. And, and who we've been. And I think that when I read this book, I realized something that was truly shocking to me was that we've already done this. Part of the history of our country is we've lined up in rows and killed one another. We've already done the most inhumane thing possible to ourselves once. Look, you can say that you can you can go on and, and go, you know, fighting the Germans in World War II or the Japanese or World War One or all these wars were somehow justifiable because we were fighting this big evil entity. The Civil War was us just killing each other. And I think that it seems like we're getting ready to do it again here in America. It seems like all these these factions in America are lining up and the political system's breaking down and humanity's breaking down and we're slowly heading to where the only solution would be armed conflict. And And I think that we forget that we've done this before. We as a nation have done this all before. And until we really grasp what it looks like, I think we're doomed to repeat it again. I, I think that's why, I think that's why I'm pretty into education and history and stuff. And, and I, reading this book particularly, I realized how the Civil War is just glossed over. You know, the North 
was was non-slave owning and the South was slave owning. Therefore, we fought this war to free the slaves. Mm, that's a little bit of a whitewash. <laughs> no pun intended. Look, man, the Emancipation Proclamation, when you really start reading into it, was used as a tool of war. The freeing of the slaves was used as a tool of war. And you have to understand that the Emancipation Proclamation was not what the abolitionists were about. The abolitionists were about freeing the slaves. But that was trying to go through this political thing. And there was a whole split within the abolitionists about how they were going to go about doing this thing. And ultimately, a lot of the Civil War is about states' rights. Whether, they, whether their rights were, were morally justified or not is, is not the issue. Is the states had the right to secede. The North said they didn't, and they launched a war on the South because they seceded according to their own constitutional rights and formed their own country, and the North wasn't having it, and they invaded the South. Let's talk about another little whitewashing history right there. And so Stonewall Jackson, you know, he's a fascinating, fascinating human human being, and he was basically a teacher at the Virginia Military Institute, a hero of the Spanish-American War, and uh, his whole trip was the war is a bad, 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 bad idea. He had fought in a war. He knew that this was not, this was not some sort of glorious thing. He knew it was going to get ugly and dirty and vicious. And so his whole trip from the beginning was, let's, let's take it to the North. If we're going to have a war, let's go invade the North and let's burn the North to the ground and let's get this over with as quick as possible. And you have to understand a lot of the generals at the beginning of the war were sort of tiptoeing around none of them really wanted to have a war because most of them had fought in a war and were like this is going to be bad so they were really trying not to get each other killed and that just prolonged it and Stonewall Jackson's whole thing right off the bat was like let's have a black flag war and a black flag war was basically take no prisoners kill everybody and burn it to the ground which ultimately is is what happens later in the war with with Sheridan and Sherman when they burn the Shenandoah Valley down and then they the Sherman's march to the sea was basically a, a black flag war. And so the whole kind of thing is Stonewall Jackson was this super radical st strategic general and he he was smarter than all the other generals and the south was defeating the Union Army with, and the Union Army had overwhelming numbers, and Stonewall Jackson had this ability to strategically just smoke the North. And you really read, yeah, you know, I'm reading this book, and, and man, you're rooting for the South. I'm sorry. I'm rooting for the Rebel Army this whole read because you realize that the Northern Army was a bunch of assholes. Like, these guys were really just assholes. And you would have done the same thing too, man. I, You know, I, I, this, I think the slavery issue just needs to be kind of boxed for a second when you're talking about what the North was really up to. It, it was a straight war of aggression against the South. And, and and that's what you really begin to read is is S. C. Gwen doesn't really have a political agenda in this book, man. He's just breaking it down. He he calls out he calls out Stonewall Jackson on a bunch of stuff. He calls out everybody on a bunch of stuff, man. I mean, I think this is a guy who's writing these books, this book to particularly give you an insight into why war is a really bad, bad, bad idea. And and who this man was. This man was a was a truly radical human being, man. And uh, I would highly recommend this book. It's 600 some pages long. It's got maps. It's got pictures. It, it's got everything you need to get get a, a mental picture of what is going on. And uh, it's a fascinating read because this is American history, man.
it is it's American history now. It would have been Confederate States history if they had won, right? And I think it's interesting. I mean, I don't think we in modern America grasp what was really going on. They formed their own country, the Confederate States, and seceded and were their own country for a brief moment. Had their own army. They had their own president. They had their own everything for a moment. And the North literally invaded the South. Well, that's that's what our military industrial complex does, doesn't it? We invade countries and burn them down to the ground. But we're not going to make this about present day politics, though I think it is a lens into exactly the mindset of of a lot of what our actions are. I think I think history just keeps repeating itself. And this is the Civil War is a history we do not want to repeat itself in this country. But you know, whatever dude, you people are ignorant, man, so it probably will. I I I, I seem to I seem to think that it seems to look like that people want nothing but, but this sort of weird vitriolic us against them going on in this country. And it's happened before. It's happened before and it swept it swept lives away. That's what you that's what you one of the things you grasp when you read this book is there was nowhere to run, man. Once that civil war started, dude, the mechanism just swept all these people into this killing field man and there was nowhere to go you didn't have an option not to go fight anyway rebel yell by sc gwen and the other book he wrote um empire of the sun moon was as an awesome read too i read that one as well and uh this is this is a good book it's a page turner <laughs>